So another example of an energy transformation is if basically this object is falling just before it hits the, the table itself, it has kinetic energy, but then it bounces back up. So that kinetic energy, when it hits the ground, becomes elastic energy and it bounces it back up. So again, since the object is actually falling, it has mass and it has velocity. And that is kinetic energy, because kinetic energy has to do with motion. That's how I know it's kinetic energy. Now when it hits the ground, when it hits the ground, it actually bounces. And that bouncing is elastic energy. Now, after it bounces, it actually heads back up again, and it gains velocity again. So that's back to kinetic energy. So if you want to think about what this really is, we have kinetic energy as it's falling. That bounce when it hits the ground, that energy, because it's not moving in that instance, that becomes elastic energy. And then that becomes kinetic energy headed back up. So that's, again, that transformation of energy. So it's just changing forms from one to another.